Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How, how are you? Fine. You? I am doing good. Very happy to be here once again in another hey, class. Okay. Excellent. Hi. I am very glad to join to another session, the last one of the week. But uh, we hope to have a very nice and fluid class. So how are you doing with the platform? Did you finish the two sections that I recommended? No, no teacher, no. really, really no, no yet. Okay. Uh, so but I have uh, some, uh, some problems. Uh-huh, what is the problem? <laughs> the verb, the, the, the verbs. <laughs> yeah, in the case of the, uh, I think it's the part of the infinitives. I mean, yes, you need yes. to remember to use the infinitive form and the verb. And in the first option that we have two uh, spaces, I mean, you have to use to take and to take some. That it's an exercise that we have been discussing in the WhatsApp group uh, for a couple of days so far. So, but that's that's basically it. Remember that the platform. I mean, the idea of the platform is that you advance, and as much as you advance, uh, you can take notes if you have questions or doubts, and later on we can clarify them right here, right? So, if you have any other difficulty don't doubt on asking, right? But it is important that you write the number of the exercise. Many of you, for example, ask me questions about the exercises and you send me the image. So that is a lot helpful because so I can just guide and, and answer the questions right away. But whenever you have a question, or if you have any doubt, remember you can go back and relate to the class because most of the exercises that I do are based on the exercises that are on the platform. So if you have any, any question, I am here to help you. So remember, if you can work on that today, you can finish, you can finish that exercise after the class and you will see that you will have more difficulties. Someone else who is, who is having difficulties with the platform, with the exams? Not yet. No, they are very clear. No. So you very can clear. advance, you can advance as much as possible, right? That's, that's okay. the main idea of it. Well, today is our class number six. Good evening, everybody. Just as I always catch up with the rules for the class, Remember to practice your English, be polite. Remember to attend all your classes because they are necessary. Keep your cameras active, advance on the educational platform and work in the WhatsApp group, right? If you find information, that is something that I wanted to mention. If you find information that is useful, that you can um, share, that you are using to practice your English, you can share it on the chat as well. Right, because in some cases people might think that the chat is just for uh, solutions about problems or things, but no, in some cases, if you find information that it's useful and that it's helpful for you, it can be helpful for someone else. So if you find an exercise and you say, hey, this can work for the class, esto le serviría a mis compañeros, share it in the WhatsApp group. Right, if you find vocabulary, if you find information, exercises, readings, anything, you can share it on the group. Well, what did we talk about in the previous class? Who can tell me a little bit? Comma and how compliments. Exactly. We talk about a health problems, right? And the compliments to create sentences on them. Very good, what else? What else did we talk about yesterday? We started a topic yesterday. Do you remember what the topic was? Tick -tack, tick -tack. Hello? Hello? Okay, good, uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, yesterday uh, we, uh, 
we can we we estoy moviendo we we started we started a suggestion uh recommending for a for uh health in case for him for example uh what can i do or why can i do uh is um what can i do if i uh how a uh, fever for example exactly right as as gerardo was mentioning we were talking about recommendations suggestions about mm. health problems right what should i do for a headache what should i do for fever right etc cetera, etc cetera. so we are going to continue with the topic what do you suggest right we're going to continue with that topic today and we're going to cover the rest of this unit i think we're going to finish with that today. So we're going to start by a little discussion, a little debate, right? And in this one, all of us are going to participate. So uh, the only thing that I am going to ask you for this activity is that uh, participate with the hand of the platform, right? Raise your hand on the platform because if everybody speaks at the same time, it's going to be kind of difficult to listen to your um, participations, okay? I have some questions right here. And it says like, what do you do when? What do you do when? And I have five situations. I have five situations. The first situation is, what do you do when you feel stress? What do you do when you feel stress? What do you do when you have an argument with a friend? Do you know what's the meaning of argument? Uh, discussion, Dis maybe? Discussion, right? Uh, it's not pelea. Pelea is when you fight, right? Discussion is like it's when you don't agree on something and you discuss a little bit about that. What do you do when it's 2 a.m. and you can't sleep? What do you do? What do you do when someone is standing next to you faints? Do you know what's the meaning of faints? Desmayarse, right? That you are like, aha, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then shoo, the person just disappears. And then you are like, ah! what do you do when a person is standing near you faint? And the last one, what do you do when you need to study, but you can't concentrate? So those are the five situations. I need you to choose one of the five situations and give me your point of view about it. Okay, so I am going to give you some minutes for you to organize your ideas, organize your ideas. And when you feel that your ideas are ready, when you feel that your ideas are organized, raise the hand on the platform and give me your answer, okay? And if you have the answer right now, you can raise a hand and participate. Janet, Janita, go ahead. And I have Evelyn also. From the first one, uh, what do you do when you feel very stressed? Um, I listen to music. What type of music do you listen? Um, in the last time, I listen K-pop. K-pop, you listen to K-pop and it helps you to relax when you are yeah. very stressed. Good, that's very nice. Thank you, Janet, for your participation. I saw another, another hand up. I think it was Evelyn, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, when I have an argument with a friend, I try to, to listen to her, her or his point of view. And if necessary, if necessary, I apologize. Okay, that's very good. And that is very human. If it's necessary, I apologize, you say, because in some cases you think that the problem is on the other person, but maybe the problem was with us. <laughs> so thank you very much for your answer. Manuel Villegas, go ahead. Uh, what do you do when it's 2 a.m. and you can't sleep? Well, I really go and take a cup of wine. And you go and take a cup of wine. 
Good. And if you don't have wine? And water. <laughs> Same water. thing to relax. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a very good that option. It's impossible to have wine in my house. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, that is part of the supermarket list. <laughs> That's very good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Manuel, for your answer. Briselda, go ahead. Uh, uh, the same. <laughs> uh, what do you do when it's 2 a.m. and you can sleep? I usually read a book or cook and eat. <laughs> you cook. Well, that's good. You take advantage to cook the food for the next day. <laughs> oh, no. Not no. necessarily. <laughs> you you cook something. Hey, with that, that's very good. That's very good. Thank you, Briselda, for your point of view. Excellent. Who else? It's a good idea. I think I'm going to cook the next time. To cook with wine. <laughs> that's going to be nice. Well, okay. teacher, when, yes? when I can when I can sleep. At night, uh, I think I drink a camomile. How do you say? A chamomile uh, tea. Uh, ca chamomile tea. Yeah. Chamomile, chamomile tea. Yes. yes. I have fun. <laughs> <laughs> they are not. They are not paying me for the commercial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, the chamomile. It's chamomile. very friendly tea. <laughs> yeah, the chamomile tea. It's manzanilla, right? It yes. is very useful when you are. Um, when you have insomnia, right? Excellent. Who's next? Next, next, next. If I don't have hands up, I'm going to start with the finger cratic. Vamos a empezar con el dedo cratic. Me the finger. <laughs> <laughs> Adrián, go ahead. Good evening, all. Uh, what do you do when do you need to study but you can't concentrate? Mm -hmm. uh, for usually is um, the make of tea and the listen music for metal. Oh, you listen to metal music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it helps you to concentrate. Oh, <laughs> it's open mind. Yeah, and I mean. It's concentration for uh, study. It's very good, right? So you play... Uh, Heavy metal, there, rock music. Okay, yes. that's pretty awesome. Gerardo, what is your answer? Okay, uh, what do you when it's 2 a.m. and you can't sleep? Um, I start watching YouTube, especially about history. Hey, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you watch uh, things about history. That's very yeah, good. I, I like the history. Hey, that's pretty nice. Mr. Oscar Romero, what is your answer? Uh, my apologize. My uh, internet is uh, is bad. Uh, but I imagine the question is, what do you do when uh, when I feel very stressed? Uh huh. It's okay. Yes. Uh, you okay. cannot. You cannot see the my... screen. Excuse me. Repeat, please. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, when I feel very stressed, I um, I listen music in same model or, or model sem or model sem. <laughs> model sem. So you listen to relaxing music. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good for you to go back to the to your point <laughs> yeah it's very difficult to feel stress in some cases all the things of the day don't help for you not to feel stress okay mr kevin villalta tell me what is your answer my answer for what for one of the questions what do you do? When I feel stressed, uh, I try to play games. Hey, you try to play games. What is your favorite game? Oh, my favorite game is Call of Duty. Hey, yeah. amazing. That's fantastic. Yeah. 
like yeah, for sure. that. I really like it. And the yeah. last one that I'm going to ask today, it's Nubia. Go ahead. Excuse me, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, what do you do when you are tired? Uh -huh. I sit down to watch television. Okay, I sit down to watch television. You added another category. Let me see. I need a volunteer to tell me what do you do when you when someone faints next to you. What will you do? What? Okay, Janet, Janita, let's see. I faint too. <laughs> you faint too. <laughs> It is number four. What do you do when someone is standing near you faints? Cuando alguien parado a la par tuya se desmaya. It's like, oops, <laughs> he fainted. <laughs> and then you start like giving air with your hand like this. It's like, oh, shh, shh, wake up, wake up. Yes, oops, be careful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, the best thing that you can do, it is important to look for for uh, alcohol, right? If, if a person faints. After you drink the alcohol, you can help. <laughs> no, you have to put some alcohol in, in the person's face. So let's see. We're going to go to the next one, right? We're going to talk about containers, right? We're going to talk about containers. We have been talking about medicine, medications, etc. And today we're going to explain a little bit on how the medicines uh, come, what is the presentation of the different types of medicine? And for this one, we have a bag, a bottle, a box, a can, a jar, a pack, a stick, and tube, right? And we have most of them right here presented in the picture, right? And you have a bag. For example, in this one, we have these candies that they come in a bag. We also can have cotton, right? Cotton in bags. Uh, what else? What other thing can you buy in a bag? Sorry? What other medications can you buy in a bag? ¿Qué otros vienen en presentación de bolsa? Besides the cotton, that it's el algodón. Mm, the bags. Which one? Casas. Uh, ah, the paths. They are called paths. I am going to write it right here. Sometimes we can find in, in yes. bags um, some types of, right. of uh, vitamins. Vitamins, right? Vitamins or candies. Good. Yeah. Very good. Pad. Pad means uh, gasa. Right, pad. I am going to write it right here for you in a better way because it looks very bad. Pad. Gauss, Gauss is, is others. Gauss, Gauss is other words. Yeah, that's another. I think that's another thing. Gauss. Gauss. Yeah. In that case, the paths are like the, the, the little chart, the little squares that you put over a wound and they just work like that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so we have that uh, we can have also another container that is a bottle, right? Most of the medicines and the syrup come in a bottle, right? Alcohol. The alcohol and also the syrup, the syrup or the syrup that it's all the jarabes, right? For cough syrup, cough syrup, the two pronunciations are possible. Syrup. You can have syrup or syrup. The two pronunciations are possible. And um, if you have, for example, a uh, vitamin, the one for the allergy, the vitamins and all these, they come in bottles. What about boxes? In a box. Different, different pills. The different pills, right? The different mm -hmm. pills, you can have them in a box. In a can, in una lata. Mm. Uh, aftershave? The, the aftershave, right? You have it right here. You have the aftershave. Yes. And you can have the, the shaving cream also comes in a can. Mm -hmm. The deodorant. Uh, let's see what else. Some sprays that you can use for sports. 
They also come in a can. In a yard, in una jarra, una jarrita, like this one, most of the ointments, right? You have them in a yard. All the ointments for the pain, for the muscles and all that, they come in a yard. Pack, it's un paquete, like the tissues, right? Like the clinics. Mm -hmm. Like the, ba yes. the, the band-aids, the band-aids are like curitas, right? Band-aids. The boxes. The pack. It comes in a pack. Uh -huh. A stick is like the yes. the stick is like the toothpaste, right? It's a stick. It comes in a stick, and also in a tube. I think it's uh it's more like this one, right? It's like the tooth toothpaste as well. So in this toothpaste. case, toothpaste. toothpaste, toothpaste, and we have it right here. Okay, so don't say the name of the mark. It is toothpaste, okay? It is, in this case, it will be a tube, right? A tube of a toothpaste, tube. right? You can have a tube of, of toothpaste. For the aspirins, what can you have for the aspirins? It's um, in a box. In a you, box. Can, you can have a box of aspirins, mm. right? A, for in the bandage. Box. A pack. A, pack. a, a pack. pack. Very good. So you can have a pack of bandages. Shaving cream. It's the one that we have here. Shaving cream. Uh, the one that you use. Huge. Jar. Well, it's this one that we have here. Yeah. Oh. It's a can, right? It's a can. A can. Tienen una lata, right? A can. A can mm -hmm. of shaving cream. Because you have to press the bottom. It's like in order to take it out. Tissues are the like the clinics, right? A box. A box. A box, right? A box of tissues. Uh, face cream. Face cream. A jar. A this jar. is a jar. Excellent. It's a jar. a jar, right? It's a jar of face cream. Cough drops. Drops son gotas. A bottle. Yeah. A bottle. 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 Very good. A bottle. A bottle of cough drops and the other one in a can. Yeah. Can. A, stick. A, can. A, stick. a stick a stick a stick yes it is funny because you have like this uh lady whatever uh, whatever a stick, stick. <laughs> <laughs> and the stick is the the the, the container the right? container and now it's like oh <laughs> now i understand you say okay <laughs> Yes, very good. So those are the different containers, right? And the mints, in this case, the mints that you have right here that come in a bag, right? These are mints. Are there they are like candies, right? What's the mean in breath mints? Breath, okay, breath, breath means breath is what comes out of your mouth when you speak. It can be very good or it can be very bad. If it is a little bad, we need mints, right? Una mentita. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they say, oh, okay, I thank you. It. I, I, it. I understand <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. thanks to the mask, you have to work a lot more because it is yourself that you are smelling on the mask. So you have to be always clean. So those are the different containers that we can talk about. And I think you saw this in the platform as well. Here I have a little exercise. And in this one, you are going to do it by yourself. And you are going to tell me, teacher, well, cup drops in a can, in a box, in a tube. Where do you think that they go? The cough drops. The cough yeah. drops in, in a... Sometimes in mm. a bottle, but bottle, yeah, in a bottle. Yes, the cup bottle? drops go in a bottle. Oh. Well, the eye yeah. drops, the eye drops are here, right? I see yes. here. The oint ointment. ointment um, tube. A tube. A tube. Tube. A tube. It can be in a tube, tube right? Tube. In a tube. Mm -hmm. The sunburn spray. Can. In, in a can. can. In a can, can. because it's can. a spray, right? Cream? Tube. In a tube. In a tube, right? In a tube. The insect spray? 
Can. 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 In a can. can. The pills. Box. box. In a the box. box. And the box. tissues. Box. 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 In, the box. In the box, right? Box. So you have a, a bottle of eye drops, a bottle of cup drop, a tube of ointment, right? A box of pills, a box of tissues, right? That is the way you create the phrases with the containers. Any questions so far? No, is that clear? Very good. Good, so we can continue now. In this one, I am going to show you right here. It's the, uh, the, the next part of the questions and the sentences that we studied yesterday. But in this one, it is the conversation when you go and ask for the medicine, when you go to the pharmacist and you actually ask for help, right? You have two forms. When you know what you want, you can go with the question. Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? Because you know what you want. But if you don't know, you can say, what do you suggest? What do you have? What do you suggest for, uh, let's see, for uh, a stomachache? What will you suggest? A stomachache. Uh -huh. Well, I think it's uh, uh, take a pills for the, um, how do you say the pills? Um, for example, this when the, the this is take it, take it, take it. Help him, help him. Yes. <laughs> Come on, group. You can help. <laughs> Simeticona. Come on. Simeticona, right? Alka Seltzer, yes. right? Yes. You, can, well. you can you can take some uh, some Alka Seltzer or Simeticona, okay? Good. Yes. Or if or if you want uh, some some uh, something natural, you can uh, take a tea. You can drink tea, exactly like that. So if you need yes, something true. natural, you can drink tea, right? That's very good. Or you can uh, make a lemonade with some, uh, I think it's salt and bicarbonato, and then you are done, right? Yeah. And then like the teacher told me, ah, oh. <laughs> no, don't try it. I mean, it works for me. I don't know for you. So mm -hmm. we have these, these two forms, right? Can I? May I help you? Right? This is the first form of the question. Can or may I help you? Can I have, could I have, or may I have? And the four forms that you have there are very polite, right? They are very polite ways to ask for something at the pharmacists. And the other two ways that you have, what do you suggest or what do you have? What do you have for fever? What do you have for a backache? What do you have for sore muscles, what do you have for a twisted ankle? It's like, oh my God. What do you have for a turek? What do you have for an iric? And then the person is going to suggest something, right? But at the beginning of the sentences, when you create the questions, for sure, the first question that you are going to receive from the person who attends is, can I help you? Right, because mm -hmm. they are going to go and uh, see what you need, right? Can I help you? That's the first question that they are going to ask you. And uh, in that way, you are going to say, oh yes, I need this and this, or I need that, right? So that would be the first question. What about the next one? Yes. Yes, can. Can I have? Can I have, right? Can I have? Can something I have for something? For itchy eyes? Itchy eyes? Say sure. I have. I oh, I, I suggest. Suggest. I suggest, right? I suggest. I suggest a bottle of eye drops. Right. Can I have something for itchy eyes? It's like you are asking for for an idea, right? Because you don't need you don't know what to do. Yeah, I suggest a bottle of eye drops. The next one. What do you do? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, what do you do? What do you, what do you suggest or what do you? What do you do suggest for what? sore muscle? 
Okay, what do you suggest? Or what do you have, right, in this case? What do you have? What do you suggest or what do you have for sore muscles? You? You can try. Okay, you can try, but what you is this? You should try. What is the You're answer? gonna try. You're gonna try this only. You should try. You should try, right? Very good. You should. You should try the verias, right? You should try this ointment. Mm -hmm, you should. It's excellent, yeah. they say. Okay, and it says, okay, I will take it. And the last one. Can may I have? May I have a box of bandage, bandage okay. please? To use the different ones, we can say, may I have? May I have a box of bandages, please? Here you are. And what do you? Have. Suggest. Uh, okay, we use suggest. We're going to use have for this one, just to use the different forms. What do you have for insomnia? Try. Uh huh. Try. I suggest. You can say, I suggest you should. I have. Exactly, you can say, uh, well, in this case, what do you have for insomnia? You can say, you. Uh, you can use try or I suggest any of them. So for this one, because we use the other ones, we're going to say try. Try. Try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thanks, you say. Good. So let me see. Jose Manuel, help me. I am going to practice the first conversation and you are going to be my next partner. In this case, I am the pharmacist and you are going to be the client, okay? Mr. Jose, Jose Manuel. Okay, teacher. Uh... <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Primera llamada. <laughs> Can I help you? And what yes. uh, read the conversation or what? <laughs> Welcome back to the class, Jose Manuel. What were you no, doing? No, teacher. Solo me perdí en esa partecita. Ay, ay, ay. Ya lo vamos a regañar. Okay, Jose Manuel. Yo, yo comprendo. Okay, we have three conversations, right? We have three conversations between okay. the pharmacist and the client. In this okay. case, in conversation number one, that it's right here. I am going to put a heart next to it. Here, in conversation number one, I am going to be letter A and you're going to be letter B, okay? Okay, very good. So, can I help you? Yes, yes. I can help. I have something for its age. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I lost Mr. Jose Manuel. Hello? <laughs> hey, uh, I am letter B. Yes, you are letter B. Let's do this again. This nothing yeah. happened. Uh, Forget it. Sure. Okay, teacher. Can I help okay. you? Go ahead. Yes. Can I have something for itchy eyes? Sure. I suggest a bottle of eye drops. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Jose Manuel. Yay, we did it. Mr. Manuel Villegas. Are you there? Yes. Number two. Okay. What do you suggest for sour muscles? You should try this ointment. It's excellent. Okay, I will take it. Thank you very much. Sandrita, hello, welcome. Hello. <laughs> may, I, may I have a box of bandages, please? Here you are. And what do you have for insomnia? Try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thank awesome. you very much. Catherine. Are you there? Catering at once, catering at twice. <laughs> we lost Catering. Catering Yesenia, Catering Yesenia. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jang me. <laughs> Jang. Hi. Hello. Can I help you? You, yes. Can I have some time for? Itchy eyes. Itchy eyes. Um, sure. I suggest a bottle of eye drops. Thank you. Vanessa Rodriguez, go ahead. Number two. 
What do you suggest for sore muscles? You should try this ointment. It's excellent. Okay, I will take it. Very good. Priselda, go ahead. May I have a box of bandages, please? Uh, here you are. And what do you have for insomnia? Try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thank you very much. Evelyn Mariela, you're going to be the first one. You start, go ahead. Okay, can I help you? Yes, can I have something for itchy eyes? Sure, I suggest for a bottle of eye drops. Thank you very much. And the last one is going to be, let me see, Mr. Oscar Romero. What, yeah. do, what do you suggest for sore muscles? You should try this ointment, it's, uh, it's excellent. Okay, I will take it. Okay, and the bonus track for today, it's going to be for Boris Rodriguez. May I have a box of bandage, please? Here you are. And what do you have for insomnia? Uh, try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Mr. Oscar, tell me. Yeah, uh, what is the meaning of traduce? Here you are. Here you are. In this, in this case, here, here you, you are. are. Tu, tu estás aquí, but but this situation, okay. what the meaning? Okay, if you tell me, uh, I think you can see my camera, right? So if I say, hey, teacher, can I have a marker? Here you are. Oh, that's good. Teacher, can, can I use your cell phone? Aquí here, you are. here you are. Aquí tienes. Exactly. Uh, here you are. Uh, that's here good. you are. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because when they say like, may I have a box of bandages, please? Here you are. And they, they give it to you. That's the meaning. Here you are. <laughs> can I have a mouse, please? Here you are. Here you are. Here you are, you see. You, you are. give me the mouse. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe one day in the future I am are. going to do this and I'm going to get it here in my house in the near future. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent okay. job, excellent job in the conversations. Very nice kids, very nice. Okay, so here we have a real conversation, right? May I help you? May I help you students? Yes, please. Yes, please. 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 You, so have uh, something for Carl? I think I am getting, I think a, I'm cold. getting a cold. Well, I suggest a bottle of these cough drops. They are very good. Thank, Thank you. you. And what do you what suggest do you for, dry for, dry for dry skin? skin? For dry skin. Yes. Ah, let me see. I have something. Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. okay. One more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? Can you suggest anything? He should. He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Okay. Great. Great. May I have Great. Great. Really May I have large a large bowl, please? Here you are. Here you are. Okay. Here you are. So my <laughs> husband doesn't have energy these days. Yeah. Poor husband is like, oh, come on. <laughs> and she's going to take three bottles of the multivitamins. <laughs> so yeah. very good. Yeah. Let me see. I am going to have two volunteers uh, to do it. And it's going to be, let me see. It has to be a marriage lady because she needs something for the husband. So, Briselda and Mr. Carlos, go ahead. Mr. Carlos is the pharmacist. Okay. <laughs> Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a call? I think I'm getting a call. Well, I just, you said, you hate this. Well, I <laughs> yes. suggest a box of these cold drops. Thank you. And what did you do? What do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing. Uh, my husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. And another question is use the, the blue pills too. 
<laughs> may I have three large bottles, please? <laughs> <laughs> Of the multivitamins or, or of the blue pills? Of oh, the blue pills. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, okay. Depending on the actual I need both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, kids, come on. <laughs> yeah, give me three, give me three, three boxes. We, we, we sell that. <laughs> and she's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and the husband behind Brisella. Yeah. <laughs> Present and now all El Salvador knows. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. It was pretty awesome. Great job. <laughs> Great job. Oh, my God. And the laughing is free. That's so cool. <laughs> now, you see, what do you do when you feel stressed? I take my English class. <laughs> then yes. I forget about the stress. <laughs> yeah. And I, I end up very relaxed. <laughs> all of you are like, are, are just laughing there. Okay, family members, we are learning. We are learning here, okay? Don't think that we are having fun. <laughs> we are learning. <laughs> so everybody will be like, what are you doing there in the class? Oh, learning. I am learning. You say. Okay. With our show. Okay, so we are going to go over a listening exercise. We are going to do a listening exercise. And on this exercise, you are going to listen to four people with different types of problems, right? They have different situations. And I need you to choose. I mean, you can do it on your notebook. You can say number one, A or B. Number two, A or B. Number three, A or B. And number four, A or B, right? And you are going to write the answer that you consider the most appropriate, okay? So you are going to listen to the audio. I am going to play the audio two times so you can have a, the answers, okay? And you can actually pay attention to it. So I am going to mute your microphones because uh, I need you to listen. And let me know if you can listen to my audio. You can show me a like if you can listen to the audio. Let me see. Let me click on it. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Cool. You can listen to the audio. Amazing. Okay. So I'm going to play it two times and uh, you can get the best answer for each of the situations. Go ahead. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes, I just came back from London on a long flight and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, Place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Okay, listen again if you need to check. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. 
two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomachache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Okay, my dear students. Uh, there was the listening, right? And they have different difficulties with their health. The first person on the conversations, what was the problem? The man feet are sore. The man felt sore. The man's feet are sore. They say that he had a long walk, right? He went to El Cerro Verde, right? All the green hill and his feet are sore. So that's the first problem. And what was the recommendation? Do you remember? Ointment. 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 Ointment at night. Very good. What is the problem with the second lady? The, the, the woman has, has an upset, upset stomach. stomach. She has upset. an upset stomach. What is the meaning of upset stomach? Upset. It's, it's when you feel that something is going wrong. When you feel that there is a problem, right? You don't have a stomach ache or diarrhea or any other thing, but you Set. feel it there. And in good Spanish, you feel it like, in, in, and you say, me siento como empachado, you say. Mm. Yeah, it, it's an upset stomach that you feel that you don't want to eat, that nothing is good, that everything is bad. That is an upset stomach. Good. Uh, what was the recommendation? Pills. pills, right? Pills. She pills. recommended pills. What is the problem okay. with the third person? The man has difficulty sleeping. Sleep. He has yes. difficulty sleeping. sleeping, right? He was because... coming. He was coming from a trip, and he has jet lag. Jet lag is when you have the problem with the schedules, right? Que de repente si fue a Londres, en Londres ayer era de noche, aquí era de día, and then when you come yeah. back, everything it's like. Very crazy, oh. right? Nunca me ha pasado, pero oh, yes. we can write uh, this teacher. It jet, is jet, jet problem. Jet oh. lag. Jet lag. Jet it lag. is jet lag. Jet lag. Jet lag. Yes, it is. Oh, it is okay. This okay. confusion that you have, jet lag. And what is the last situation? The woman burnt her hand. The woman burnt her hand. What was she doing? Cooking. She cooking. Was cooking, right? She was cooking and she burned her hand. So that is that it's basically it. And if you see this listening is the one similar to the one that you have in the exams. So yes. <laughs> it's very useful. If you didn't answer one correctly, now you can go and check and correct. So that is basically it, right? Those were the four problems that uh, they were presented in the listening. So we're going to go back here and we're going to go to this one. So uh, in this one, it's like, uh, okay, you have, can I help you from the pharmacist? And what do you think is the best next answer from the customer? That if it says, if the pharmacist yes. says, uh -huh. yes, I suggest a package of bandages. I suggest a package of bandages. 
uh, if I if I ask the question, can I help you? What will be the question of the customer? Si yo como, como eh, dueño de la farmacia o el que atiende, les digo, can I help you? ¿Qué creen ustedes que me dirían? Can I have a yes, can I have a pass? Ah, you say, can I have, yes, can I help you? Yes, can I have... yes because I need help, right? Can I have a package mm -hmm. of bandages? Because I am asking you, what can I do for you in this case? If I ask you, eh, in this case, it's just the beginning of the conversation, right? You cannot say, hey, I suggest a, cup, a, back, a package of bandages, right? Because you don't know what the person needs. In this case, yes. Can I have a package of bandages? And then you ask for the things that you need. Here you are. What do you think is the next one? And what do you have for us? Sunburn. And what do you have for a sunburn, right? Uh, what would be the answer? I suggest this lotion. I suggest this lotion, right? So how will be the complete conversation? And everybody's going to do it with me. So please, all the microphones on, all the microphones on, everybody, everybody. Go ahead. Yeah. We are going, going to uh, to open the microphones. Hey, you are you are my my type of people. I like it. Can I help you? Yes. Yes. Um. Here you are. And what did you, what do you, you have? have on sunburn. Sunburn. I suggest this lotion. Thanks. 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 Very good. Now, I go know. ahead. You start. Suggest this can, I have, can I can help, help, help you? Can I help you? you? Yes. Can I can have I a package of, bandage, yes. of bandages? Here you are. Here you, Here, are. You are. Here, are. Here you are. And what do you have for a sunburn? I suggest this lotion. Oh, thank you very, very, very much. So, you see? Uh, this is very easy, right? When you go to the pharmacy and when you ask for help. And here I have the second uh, conversation. In this one, I am going to give you two minutes for you to get the correct answers. A or B, right? That it's one or two. A or B, A or B, A or B, A or B. And then we're going to check it, okay? Two minutes. It is not necessary that you copy all the sentence, but you can say mm -hmm. uh, A, B, A, B, A, for example. Mm One more minute. Ready? Ready. Great, excellent. So we finished with the two minutes. 
Um, I need one, two, three, four, five volunteers. Hands up, please. Five volunteers. <laughs> Oscar with the hand up, that was good. Oscar, Manuel, Janet, who else? Me, teacher. Me. Me, me, me. Carlito? Or who, me? Adrian. Adrian, Adrian. Good, good, Adrian. Okay, so we're going to start with Oscar. Oscar is going to be the first one. Hi, can I help you? Yes, could I have something for a sore muscle? Very good. Who continues? Let's see. Yesenia. Oh, Janet Janira. Yes. <laughs> Come on, I'm thinking about Janet Janira. Go sure. Ahead. Sure. Try this ointment. Manuel. Very good. Thanks. And what do you suggest for the flu? Very good, Sandra. Very good. Number four. Try some of these tablets. Very good. They are really work. They really work. Very good. And we're going to finish with, let me see. Hey, I think I finished with all my, my volunteers. Adrian, number five. Okay, thanks. I take them and you should get a box of tissues. Mm. Eh. <laughs> it's, the, it's the next one. Ah, okay, okay, thanks. <laughs> I will take them and you could have a box of tissues. And could I have a box of tissues? Sure, here you are. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. De repente hay una voz aquí que se me cuela en el micrófono. I don't know why. <laughs> what happened? So it says, hi, can I help you? Everybody, go ahead. Hi, can I help you? Hi, can I help hi, you? Hi, can, can I help you? Hi, can I help you? Hi, can, hi, I, help can you? I help you? Yes, hi, could I have I something you? for sore muscles? Yes, could yes. I have sure. something for, some for, for sore muscles? muscles? Sure, try this ointment. Sure. Sure. And what thanks? And what do you suggest thanks for the flu? Try some of these tablets. They really work. Try some of these tablets. Okay, thanks. I'll take them. And could I have a box of tissues? Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. I'll, I'll take them. them. And do have a box of tissues? Sure, here you sure, are. Here you are. Sure, sure, here you are. Excellent job. Excellent job, students. We have had a very nice class, very participative. I really like these classes when all of you participate a lot. And it has been a great pleasure to attend you. But uh, oh. I have a homework for you. <laughs> I have a homework okay. for you and I need you to write it down in your notebook, right? Because this homework is going to be useful for the next class. What is the homework about? I need you to investigate about food vocabulary and types of food. Okay. Food vocabulary and types of food. Mm. What do I refer with types of food? The different um, the variations that we have, that we have Mexican, that we have spicy food, that we have Japanese food, that we have a uh, crunchy food, very sweet food, all the different types of food and vocabulary related to it. Okay, that it's going to be very helpful for the next unit and also for the next week in the classes, right? I really like uh, students to investigate in ahead what comes because it's also a part of the learning process, right? To go and investigate a little bit, to go and find more information, to find more vocabulary. And what are you going to do with this vocabulary? You are not going to bring me a notebook here to my house, right? I need you to uh, start investigating and anything that you find, I need you to share it on the WhatsApp group, okay? If you find, for example, food vocabulary, you say, hey, classmates, look what I found. And you send there your investigation, right? 
If you find an image, if you find vocabulary, if you find anything, you can send it there on the WhatsApp group. It can be on the weekend or on Monday morning. So you have the weekend off. It, I think it can be on Monday, right? On Monday during the day, you can send your homework and it's like, here you have, okay? Así les dejo viernes, sábado, domingo libres para que también estudien y hagan otras cosas. But uh, on Monday, try to send your homework. And if you do it tomorrow, that's fantastic, okay? But the idea is that you investigate about food vocabulary and types of food. And for sure, another thing that I want to remind you is to practice and work on the platform because your progress is um, also to advance on it. So uh, let's close the week by asking a question, okay? I am going to stop sharing right now. And we're going to close the week by sharing something, okay? Que me digan, algo que aprendí esta semana que no sabía, o algo se aprendió mucho, poco, más o menos. Who wants to share? ¿Qué aprendimos en esta semana que no sabíamos? Another word for uh, yes. health, health, estado, uh, for health. Problems. Problem, for, for health problems. Excellent, uh, vocabulary. Back, uh, for vocabulary. example, my back. Vocabulary, my, a lot of vocabulary. Briselda, you have your hand up? The difference in between May and Ken. Hey, between May and Ken, very good. Someone else? The use of shoe. The can. use of shoe and can, excellent. Good, good. Do you see? This is the, the best part of everything, when we learn and when we learn together, okay? So have a beautiful night, uh, have a beautiful weekend, continue working, and it has been a pleasure for me to serve you once again. I am going to see you on Monday. Have a beautiful night. Good night. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.